Okay, so Ashley made a video about fucking forget having kids, right? So I thought I'd be cool and make a video too. So here it goes. Very, very valid point. Your vagina is seriously like that big, right? And then there is a human being. Bring him over here. I have a baby brother. I recently witnessed him coming out of my mom's vagina. Like, I didn't mean to. She laid on the thing at an awkward angle, and it was just all there. And this is some things you just can't unsee. This. That's huge. That is fucking huge. You should have children. Your vagina shouldn't be able to stretch that Actually, huge. Actually, it's your cervix that stretches. Your I don't care just... what's stretching. That hurts. It's coming out and it's coming out of you. Look at that. Look at your brother. After nine He's months glaring at you. of it stretching your stomach as if that wasn't enough. And then... I know. Amy's and then you gotta take care of it. Rude. It just stretched your vagina. How are you supposed to have sex? Like, <laughs> you now have a loose vagina. And it's you gonna be like that until, until you have, like, you, you, you gotta do, like, vaginal exercises or something. Your vagina's gonna be tired for a while. Not only was it tired after you having the sex that conceived the thing, but then you had to stretch for it. And now you gotta exercise it. So you can, once again, wear it out in the act of, hopefully this time you're wearing a condom because kids are a bad idea. They cry. Look All right? at you. I was babysitting that kid, and then it cried. And I put his binky in his mouth, and it didn't want it. So you pass him off to me. So it just wasn't taking it. And it kept crying, and I was rocking it, and it was fed, and changed his diaper, and it woke she up never <laughs> from its nap. So all of a sudden it was tired. It's just crying. Because... It knows how to cry, so that's what it's gonna do. Rant over.